can. Oh, my drink! <coughs> my drink! Thank you, sir. I don't need this. Hey guys, Crew Blind Wave, I'm Eric. Aaron. 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 I said that. Arrow. You can't do it anymore. You're getting too old. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, last time on Arrow, Aaron. Yeah, I said that. What happened? Uh, the time, time, time has come. What the been, fuck? And, yes, I'm so excited because this is what I was wanting earlier, like, I don't know, two or three episodes ago when I was talking about, like, somehow bringing, you know, you bring the daughter here, but maybe we'll do yeah. it now rather than doing it in crisis and they can have more of a moment now. Yeah. But, uh, no, like, I'm excited. The reaction that. last week was the only one I actually watched because I remember being, like, so shocked. I wanted to see what my reaction was. And for, like, 25 seconds in the video, I'm just like, <laughs> like oh my god! I didn't realize I didn't move. <laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so excited to see it. I'm like it's here, it's here, it's here. Yeah, and we had a big conversation about like what could this mean going forward, especially when it comes to like the the flash forwards in general. Uh, the poll we had was: Do you think the team from the future will return to their timeline or stay in the present? Fifty-five percent said stay. Forty-four percent return. So it's. Still pretty, you know, it's a good split, but people are wanting it to stay, it looks like, a little bit more. I Am Groot says, I hope Connor stays and maybe joins Legends after Crisis. That was a long time ago we talked about, mm. oh, what if you got that Green Lantern that appeared in Legends Arrow. tomorrow? Yes. Yes. Why did I say Green Lantern? I don't know, because Crazy. Diggle and stuff. I'm thinking about stuff all over the place. Uh, Thomas says, I think they'll return, but I'm thinking they might fix the timeline first. So maybe they change stuff and then go back, if that works. I don't, I don't know. This is your theory. I said they just go back yeah. and then yeah, no. do something. Nope. Maybe they go back just before and save Zoe and change that last fight that they had. I don't know. So monitor just like, I didn't like that one part. Fix that. They need to learn. Yeah. But okay. they are not prepared. That's what you saw. Uh, Adobe Greg says it would be weird if they stayed uh, since young William and Connor are around. Weird things have happened. Yeah. Sure. You'd have way weird. All of them. Huh? They'd all be somewhere. Yeah, it'd be fine. What's Connor? Connor gonna be there fighting crime alongside Diggle raising him? <laughs> yeah, he's gonna make sure he does it right. Uh, 16-bit couple says, stay! What if this is why they give up on JJ and treat him badly? Or they know he's a bad guy and he kills him. They, they, or they change his future. Maybe. Like, Should've been a girl. Like, well, that is what fucked him up. You were a girl! Like, what? So, this is all Barry's fault, is what you're saying. Uh, I am Iron Man says, I think Eric is on to something with fixing the future. Maybe that's why Lila and the monitor are working together. I don't know. Oh, that's that's oh, do that. But that I appreciate the support. Um, appreciate the support. Oh, I appreciate wild, the support. I appreciate the support. Wow, man. Uh, Will Son Sonderricker. Sonderricker? Will. Will says, I think they'll stick around until Crisis, at least. Hmm. They probably want Mia to be part of the crossover. Maybe. That'd be good. Yeah, that's what I said. Originally, before they did this, <laughs> before all this, uh, Tucker says, "I honestly have no idea what the plan is uh, with this is, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were around for Crisis. After that, I have no idea if they will go back or just stick around in the present. Stick around? Yeah, I don't know either. Because I mean, once the Crisis is done, these characters are done. You know? Yeah, that's like that's the idea." Dylan Carpenter says, I expect they will return to the future because it feels weird to simply abandon that storyline. However, I wish they would stay in the present, with or without us, uh, if they did any kind of spinoff. Having these characters in the present gives more opportunities for them to be involved in the other shows without the need for time travel. I definitely agree. And I honestly see nothing about the flash forwards to salvage and save. I mean, that's you've been in your opinion the whole time. Yeah, I know. I'm, I'm saying, that's like, like your opinion, man. Sure, no, it absolutely is my opinion. <laughs> and it's shared by a lot of people as well. What? I got 5% more votes. What? No, that's not what they're saying with that. But no, like, the idea of the, uh... The idea of, like, what they've given us so far in the flash forwards and Felicity, like, yeah. that... If they change the future, that changes all of that. So what happens with Felicity? I don't think... Nothing, that's all changed. Change it. That's fine. 
No, it, it changes all of what's going on with with all of it. I don't know if you. No, it doesn't. Do what's changed? Felicity's been taken out of that timeline, right? Because she's with the mom. Yeah, but if you're changing now. it in the present, you're changing it in the future, which means that all that's weird and changed. No, and dude, up. We, we we have from like examples of like reverse flash when things out. change. He's still around and out there and acting. So. He is. Yeah, because he's the one doing the changing. Yeah. But like Felicity, like what happens if they change it and then she dies and never goes through the thing to get back? Um, I would say that because she's out of it right now and then it changes, she's unaffected because she's out of it. But she wasn't out of it before it changes. Yeah, I know. But I think because she's out of it and then the action of changing it, she won't be affected. But then how does she get there to be out of it? I don't know. How does Avatar start? Huh? We don't know. That's all different. It's not. <laughs> it is. It's similar. It's not. It's not the exact same, but it's very similar. Uh, they could easily write that if they wanted to. If they don't, then that doesn't mean that it was impossible. It just means they didn't want to go that direction. I guess. I foresee them going back to the stories they've been telling us. We'll do slap I feel like it makes the most slap sense. Slap that might be fun. Huh? Slap that might be fun. All right, whatever. I want to slap Wait, you. What, what are the terms? Huh? What are the terms? I slap you. Okay, and then I slap you? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure I'm not, I'm not going to stop that whole thing. Okay. So if they stay in the present, so the only way anything happens is if they go back to the future and then he slapped me. I guess so. Because if they say in the present by the end of the season, they could still go into the future at some other point, I guess, right? I don't know. I mean, we'll know by the end of the season what they do, right? Maybe. By the end of the season, they'll either be in the present or yeah. they go back to the future. Okay, well, what, are the, what are the terms if, like, let's say Mia stays? Uh, if they split up? Yeah. I don't know, What then. does that mean? I don't know what to do then. So is it if anybody goes back to the future, do I get slapped? Like, that future stays there, right? Or something? I don't know. Yeah, if anyone goes back to the future. If anyone goes back to their timeline, where they belong, <laughs> where they're supposed to be. So the, the crux now of... Now we're making it more complicated. No, I know, but this is important. So the crux of my argument is that they're going to change the, the flash forwards because my Cause feelings... Because no one likes it. Yeah, because no like, I don't like it, and because it, I think it kind of undermines what Oliver was doing in Star City with all this stuff going terribly. And it's it's going into a bottleneck rather than having any option that you want to have going forward from there if there is some kind of a spinoff. So, if anybody goes back to that, like if that future is changed, I win. I think is the crux there, right? Okay. So, so if they stay in the present and the future still isn't changed. Yeah. I, I, well, I win. Yeah, okay. So the future has to change. So what if we never see the future? I don't know. Moving forward, we'll just try, like, if we just feel like slapping the other person, what? we'll just do that then. <laughs> so, BAM! I feel like starting the video. Dude, Oliver's gonna be like, what the hell? Get off me. William. William? <laughs> oh, this is fucking awesome. Oh, my God. Dad. Oh, my God. You're so young. The last time I checked, you didn't have an adult daughter. Or any daughter. We had a daughter. Wait. And we named her Mia. Uh... Felicity gave birth a few months after we left Star City. I'm sorry, what year is this? It's 2019. What year is this supposed to be? 2040. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy. Say, why didn't the monitor bring her here? Or grown up JJ or Zoe. What game is he playing? <sighs> I don't know. But we have to stop. They haven't even had a chance to God. grieve Zoe. <coughs> okay, how did this happen? This can't be oh, real. Flash forward to oh. sideways. It is. Hey. They transition like a cup, but it's just the same cup. <laughs> He's going good. This is the original team era we're talking about. They are going to know something's up. Do you want to tell Renee his daughter's death? Or tell John. But you were here for a reason, though. Oh, man. It's done, it's done. But why are you here? I don't know. They have to figure like, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do with this. Looks like the two of you got a chance to, to grow up with each other. <sighs> I, I never saw Felicity growing up. And, and after I left here, I... Oh, my God, man. Yeah. It's done all so good. Just me and Mom at the cabin. I didn't just... Turn out, um, or something I should tell it came you. Came out. I'm gay. Everybody I know. No oh, fuck. <laughs> no. Yeah. Felicity and I knew. 
and we just <laughs> sorry. Oh, he miss it. Ugh. Hard to reach sometimes. A little stiff. Where'd she get that from? <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> <Not like this. laughs> How could you sleep through this? Oh man, I love that. <clears throat> so good. I'm just gonna have a look. Death drunk! What the hell? What? What was that about? Wait, did JJ come here too? Is it? I don't know. That's disgusting. They're not all bad. She's a billionaire. She's a billionaire. What? <laughs> Please tell me Zoe is too. Oh, so man. Are you guys still friends? She's a canary. You get Hello. a zebra. Oh, hi. What? It's so good to be back. Wait, are those the kids? Dude, look, look at them. The They're almost gay. Order. Excuse me, we were going to tell about this, Councilman Ramirez. Renee, if you really want to know, you become mayor. Seriously? <gasps> oh, man. I oh, love these guys. Text from D. I will let her know about Slade. The reason why I would help? It's a wave of energy that's powerful enough to destroy a planet. So it's probably powerful enough to stop the god. Ooh. Which is... What we're Use antimatter against the mod? Um, <laughs> so the fate of the universe is in my hands. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you guys, uh, I got it. <clears throat> I got it. You guys got fun. Hey. <laughs> oh, we all go boom. Damn! JJ. Dang, man. And Deathstrokes. Oh, more of them. Jeez, how's he gonna make through? Oh, crap. Why did you kill her? Damn it, JJ! Is it JJ? It's not, it's not JJ, is it? What the hell is JJ? Nope. These are the Deathstrokes? Grant. Oh! Canaries! Oh, great. Looks like you made it back just in time to walk into a bomb trap. Yeah, show off how good you are. Three, two, one, go! <laughs> that building is a death stroke home base. The leader's Grant Wilson. Grant, plays with the sun, surprise, surprise. So if you knew it was Grant, then why did you call him JJ? I heard you yell his name. What's going on here? Mm. I don't know what she's talking about. But you tell me, Connor. Oh, I heard you yell, JJ. You told me JJ was fine. Dad, I'm sorry. There's something else. William. Oh! Look, they have a right to know. And I'm done holding on to this. The cops are corrupt, politicians too. <laughs> Poor Renee. Does that include me? Yeah. We're trying to say that. We gotta that change this JJ. shit. Zoe was with Mia and. Oh my god. And what? JJ killed her. I'm so sorry, Renee. God damn it, man. I mean, either said what nothing or said everything. Hey, stop, man. Let's talk. <sighs> talk about what? Huh? About how your son killed my daughter? Dad, please say something. Dad. <sighs> Connor. Since the moment you got here, you have done nothing. A lie to me. God, everything's so goddamn charged up. We should be out there doing something. We will be. Once we know Grant Wilson's plan. Man, you can learn something from your dad here. Yeah. Learn something! I hope they get a connect. I love the William and Oliver thing. I know. How could you just abandon us? Because I chose to keep you safe, and I chose right. You just wanted to be a hero. So you put your mission above your family. Someone tell her. Don't worry. I'm not gonna fight you or your father. <gasps> Cause where I stand, you're just some guy in my way. Uh, Mia. Fight. Fight. <laughs> I'll go with you. Uh, he's trying to save the universe. And he does. Well, supposedly. She's still alive, isn't she? And I'm saying supposedly. Well, I'm quite sure he's not willing to talk to me. No. But I do know someone who is. Your son. Come on, man. That kid is such a good actor. Come on, Diggle. Knowing what's happened can either destroy us or save us. We've seen our worst. Now let's be our best. Oh, goddamn, it's good. It's 
So what, you're an expert on talking people out of murder? Kind of. <laughs> yes, kind of. I had to when Felicity wanted to take down Ricardo Diaz. Uh, yeah. My father <clears throat> tried to kill someone. No, because I talked her out of it. <laughs> and look, I get it. God damn, I'm almost glad I've never seen this show, man. I love it. Oh. See, it's all because of the flash forwards. Yeah, I had, my hate has turned to love. <clears throat> you are. So Grant is trying to one-up his father. Siege version 2.0 is tonight, and this time your crew is out, and coordinated bomb attacks are in. How many? Hey, look at this table. Yeah. Someone told me the only way to change the future is to start doing things differently now. And I look. John, we're good. You too, Connor. I can't be mad at either of you for something I will never <laughs> let happen. Jesus. <laughs> All right. What about the three of us? William, I think it would be best if you stayed and helped Chris, Mia, and Connor. I'd like for the two of you to come with us. Renee said it. We have to do things differently this time. Agreed? <laughs> That's my favorite part. Suit up! Suit up. <laughs> yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> so we have to nine. See the bomb? I'm gonna have a bomb. Bright it? light? Yeah, that's not. Boom! Do think they're here? Duh! Please don't get attacked. Father and daughter fighting together! Oh, don't be worried about Mia! Look at us. Holy smoke 2.0. Yeah. Holy <laughs> smoke 2.0. <laughs> Dang, that was cool off the air. That was really cool. See that? You are my family, son. I'm sorry, Dad. I really I'm am. Sorry. I... It's okay. I'm sorry, too. Nah, I can't keep her in a bubble. Just like you can't stop being a cop and I can't stop running for office. So don't. Not all of the try was bad, do it right? the best, right? Then why wait for a future we can start making now? Hmm? Make the Canary Network Ooh. now? Where, where, where are we? Oh. I'm tired of waiting. <laughs> yeah! I'm tired of waiting for the day when people stop being afraid of the glades and start coming here to raise their families. <laughs> I love that. To uplift our brothers and sisters to be the better than ever making a Canary before. Network. Yes! You stubborn son of a bitch! Luckily, there's a guy, a military general. Okay, where is he? Russia. Russia. Russia! Russia. We're going to Russia! Russia! We're going to Russia! Anatoly! It, yeah, I know, Anatoly. Bratva! Dolph and Bratva and. KG Beast! Oh, wait, what's this? Modder. <gasps> huh. And I possess the power to restore it. Restore it? You can bring back my earth. You must betray Oliver Queen. What? I don't fucking know. I don't know if it's, it's monitor monitor. I don't know if it's monitor, anti I don't know what we're saying. I don't know shit. Nothing. It was really good. I liked it. Loved it. There's a lot of what I wanted out of it. Yeah. I loved like William getting a chance to talk with Oliver. Me too. Gone. Me too. Um, I'm interested to see what they do with more of the Mia Oliver stuff because that's one of the things I wanted to was to kind of be able to see them connect. Yeah. Since I never got that chance. I, I mean, I expected if we were going to have much resistance, it was going to be Mia. And it was. And we got a lot. But she <clears> kind <throat> of... I think they came to an understanding. And it, it is funny to point out, like, you know, well, Oliver, you, you were kind of like that sometimes, too, you know? Yeah, of course. Um, I mean, season one and stuff, you look at yeah. like, his mission and how he looked at things, too. But then, like, yeah. the relation to what he's trying to do now and leaving her and stuff. And I, like, I can understand her feeling... You know, I never had you. You weren't there. You left us to go do your mission. Like, it's gonna take her some time to come around. From, sure. Like feeling abandoned. Yeah, I mean, but they also they haven't covered with him like exactly what he went to go do. You know, so like, it's like one of those things. Well, what's more important than being with your family? 
one of those answers that you know I might accept if I was that kid is like I saved the entire universe, you know. Yeah, but, but I, I mean, he doesn't, he doesn't even know, know if that. He does that. Yeah. It's like no one knows. They don't know what he did, and he doesn't know what he will do. Yeah. So if that is the case, you know, I don't, I don't know yeah. where we're gonna go with that. Um, I mean, the, I mean, uh, you know, Marnavu showing up here to Laurel, like. I kind of got the feeling that whenever she was talking with me in the beginning about, like, I would never trust Oliver Queen or tell somebody to trust Oliver Queen, you know? Like, I got almost got a feeling like she was, like, just trying to be there for Mia versus, like, truly believing that. Yeah. And though I think that she definitely has elements of that, I think it's more of, like, ah, 50-50, I trust him, don't trust him, as opposed to don't, you know? Yeah. So I wonder if this will be a situation in which, like... It puts Laurel to the test. Maybe Monitor is putting Laurel to the test, and he is the good one, you know? Oh, uh, maybe. Like, how badly do you want your Earth back yeah. if you have to betray Oliver? Like, like would well, you I'll... sacrifice your Earth for the <clears throat> others, or Oliver, or the team, or, yeah. or I mean, your own redemption? Well, the thing, too, is, like, how does she know that he can actually give the Earth back? Yeah. I mean, does she, I mean, do they know what took the Earth? Like, yeah. was he responsible for that? And if so, is he even capable of doing that? It definitely seems like the deal with the devil kind of thing. So it makes me think, like, well, maybe this isn't yeah. that monitor. Because, like, last, you know, season or season before, whenever, like, Oliver was, like, the only one who was standing on Laurel's side mm-hmm. and giving her a chance, yeah. you know? Whereas, like, Dinah, Felicity, yeah. they were, like, against her. Yeah. And Felicity kind of started to turn, and Dinah still hated her. And now, like, Dinah and Laurel are working together looking at making a canary, like, network, you yeah, know? Yeah, which so. is awesome. But, no, yeah, like, mm-hmm. during the scene, I thought that she was almost trying to just, like, be a little more on her side so that she could help relate a little bit more. But, I mean, then they use that as a setup here. Like, all you have to do is betray Oliver Queen. It's like, well, I don't trust him that much. That shouldn't be hard. I used to play team villain. You know, they're kind of, like, setting it up to think she's going to go one way. I wonder if this is either, one, a test for her, two, a trick, and not the modder. So. That's possible. (sighs) But, man, like, this season just has, I mean, one, it's the final season, so you're going to have a lot of heavy stuff. But, two, because of the short nature of it, it's like, you know, things are going, you know? Like, yeah. some of these lies that were present here might have been present for four or five episodes in a 22-episode season, you know? Yeah, but instead they were present for, you know, some minutes and whatnot. Yeah. So, the Zoe thing coming out and the JJ stuff coming out and yeah, the William stuff coming out and, like, all that. I feel yeah. like it was done pretty it, well. It was done super well, and there were just so many emotional moments. The best one that was delivered so well was uh, William coming out to Oliver. Mm-hmm. He's like, yeah, buddy, I know. That's so good. Like, that was yeah. so good. I love that. That was, like, my favorite scene, I think, in the episode. Like, yeah. I loved seeing, like, uh, Connor and Diggle, like, doing the, that the, was the cool fighting too. and stuff. Yeah. And, like, you know, like, seeing them start to relate. and um, it. But that, like, seeing William and him just have their conversation there, like, yeah. around the eight-minute mark was just done really well. I liked it a lot. I mean, the only thing I missed, I think, was just, like, a moment or moments, and they can do this in the future, too, of, like showing why your dad being the Green Arrow was something super special, you know? Like, at the very least, and how good he was. And, you know, I I wouldn't want them to sacrifice having me as something to aspire to and look up to for the sake of the drama. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, but, I mean, what they did show here is how good Oliver was. Like, maybe not in the sense of, like, how good of an arrow he was, but literally how good he was, you know, about... They took him and they took him to Gotham and put him in yeah. Blackgate rather than killing him. And her saying, you know, I would have done it. And he's like, I know. And, you know, yeah. I know you didn't want to. And I've been there. And I understand a lot of that and the guilt of killing yeah. people. So, like, there is good in him. And I think, like, it's a matter of, like, like we've seen her be stubborn, you know, in the future doing all the stuff she's done. But having Oliver just show up doesn't necessarily mean that now she's just going to listen to him of course. and be stubborn. So, yeah. we got to have that naturally flow into her starting to understand and look more to him as yeah. maybe even a mentor rather than a dad and then eventually into a dad you know some along yeah. those lines could work but we also don't have very long to do that no is a thing too we don't so, I'm just like every episode like feels special and significant and now we're going to fucking Russia yeah. deal with some bratva baby get some bratwurst or something I don't know let's go to Q&A's too while we're talking about going places <laughs> All right, guys, so we do through Twitter. Um, you can tag us at Blindway Prod and use the hashtag uh, arrow QNA. 
Who's that? Yeah, just a hash tag. Oh, is that, is that okay? I think I made it up. So the first question we had is from Sim. Okay. Who says, "Do you guys think that Dig was being unnecessarily hard on Connor, especially when Mia told him to keep quiet?" Side note: Oliver's reaction to William being gay was so wholesome <sighs> compared to Barry finding out about Nora. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh. Was Diggle a bit harsh? I don't think so. I thought it was internally consistent. He's lost his brother. Well, Diggle, Diggle went through, okay. His thing, number one, he has a kid coming here who he doesn't even see as a kid right now. Yep. You know, it wasn't like JJ showed up and he's like, JJ? Yeah. You know, like, like Oliver a- has that. He knows he has Mia, and now he's seeing old Mia and what she turned into. Yeah. And he has the same thing with William that he's known for a while. Whereas this just came out of the blue. He's like, what? Yeah. It was once like one way street in that yeah. relationship. And then you have this, like, brother being evil his son being evil and jj and connor being at terms with each other which then also relates to him with andy and them you know his brother being yeah. evil and coming to terms with that yeah so there's a lot of i feel like emotions and things that diggle has to overcome and it it kind of went with uh, who was he talking to was it dinah or laurel whoever he was talking to when he's like i don't know who to blame dinah yeah right and he ended up being blamed like I'm gonna blame myself yeah. I can't blame anybody else it's the only person he can look to to blame yeah. you know like he can't blame a kid right now who's five years old and he hasn't been adopted yet and he can't blame his son who's young and you know hasn't been this yet but I know who to blame Hitler Barry I don't think baby Sarah would've been doing this maybe she would've I don't maybe know. she would have original Sarah original did yeah I'm just saying like like you know that because of Flashpoint this stuff has changed until this inevitable future which it seems as if already they're starting to change. Well, it, it, it would, could go either way. It depends on what they do. You could have small things like this, where it's like, oh, look, we changed stuff, but not a ton change in the future. Mm. Or, with this being unprecedented, did what they do here stop the destruction of Star City stuff yeah. in the future? Or is it like, yeah. well, that didn't work, and now another one's going to happen later because I of Grand just, Escapes or something? You I know? really hope, and I've said it just for two seasons or a season now, like I really hope <laughs> that is the case, and that's where they're going to go. My biggest worry would be like whatever happens with Felicity with that, but because like you know she's not here now, and you know we know she went through the portal in the future, but yeah. where is she from like the me of Felicity point to there? Yeah, and how does that work out and play out? But the other side of it is like. At least this way, you get future. You would get future Team Arrow, and you would get like original Team Arrow. Yep. Working together to hopefully have like by the end of the season, a future for Star City yeah. that looks better than what we've seen already. That, and that's the yeah. reason they've shown us the future, is to be like, look how shitty it is. But yeah. both of them are gonna work together to fix that, or something. This but is like know. this was the first episode I think I really felt the end of Oliver <clears throat> Queen coming. There's just something about the way he's interacting with his kids. Where, like, holy shit, here in a couple weeks, this man will be gone, you know? It really hit me in this episode for some reason. But I think that, like, the shadow of how big Crisis is going to be, all these other heroes being in there, all of that will ultimately be the legacy of Green Arrow. And I hate the idea that Future Star City is also the legacy of Green Arrow. Like, that would be so great if we could change that, you know? So... Like, I don't want to have any kind of Paul when I think about Oliver Queen and what he ended up doing, you know? But so damn... Do you get my idea? Like, it feels so big that I'm not, like... I almost feel like I'm not ready to experience the emotion yet. I'm just... Because mm-hmm. it's just a big thing, and I'll just deal with it when it comes. Yeah. But, like, here with, with William especially, I'm just like, man, this guy's going to be gone. So Maybe. I mean, we, I mean, we don't know. Well, the show will be gone. We don't, yeah, but we don't know what yeah, happens with I Oliver, know. you know? Like, maybe something else. I mean, I, I don't know what to expect. You know yeah. what I mean? All right, uh, Magnus says, So the lesson Mia learns, intentional or not, is you, is that you can be complete hothead, never listen to advice from anyone, literally get members of your team killed, and get rewarded by time traveling and meeting your father. LOL. Um, no. I, I don't know if time travel is a reward. We don't know why monitor or whoever did this yeah, i mean maybe it was a monitor you know like yeah maybe it was someone else or if, you know the idea that uh mar novu is anti-monitor and the real monitor did it to give them a chance i don't know you know what i mean like yeah i don't know i mean i'm hoping eventually all of it we know exactly what happened as to why and what you know why were they brought back to the past yeah. and i mean i like to think that these things were happening because once oliver queen gives the ultimate sacrifice monitor is going to reward him with, I've given you, you have some kind of relationship with your kids in the future of your city that you fought so hard 
it's changed now, you know? I like to think that that's in, like, a consequence to Oliver's sacrifice. I think that'd be cool. But we have muddying of whatever's happening with Laurel yeah. and Lila well, and all that stuff. Yeah, I don't know what that is. The, the, the mix that you can also get is, like, whereas Flash knows that he's going to be gone and is trying to prepare his current team, Yeah, Oliver is planning on him being gone because he himself has to do this. Yeah. But he doesn't have, you know... This kind of gives also the chance of preparing future and current team to make sure they're ready to keep it going yeah. and keep it safe. So, yeah. but yeah, I don't know why the Lila stuff is there. Yeah. I don't know why the Laurel it's thing's there. Streaming. I don't know what yeah. they needed the dwarf stuff and the, the the scientist dude for. Why did he bring you know John's brother back from the Phantom Zone? You yeah, know, Lex. Like, yeah. Why? Why is Lex? There's just got to be things there we just don't see. I hope it comes together well. Yeah. I hope it's not like these weird outliers. It's like, ah, well, you know, just in terms of time in the story, we drop those yeah. things. You, you know? know, we had some cool ideas about, you know, John's brother, so we needed some reason yeah. to come back. And yeah. we were like, well, he'll fuck with stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. You know? Well, hopefully we'll see. And things will make sense as we get closer to crisis. Yep. Of course, maybe some people already know from things, but don't tell us. No. Dobby says, Ollie and Will's reunion was great. The talk at the loft felt both familiar and playful and their hug was touching connor brings some good drama for dig and renee about the people slash parents that they are uh who was the best addition to the present from future arrow william was fantastic mm-hmm. I would but have... i i if you would ask me last week who would be the best i would have said william and i think i was most impressed by connor and like one just the, the skill of the actor playing him but two like there was some really heavy stuff in there and it, it turned into like we'll train together you know hitting the sticks like it was very very rewarding to have him in this episode there okay I'd probably go with William just because it like I love being able to have like the one thing I want is Oliver to make sure he has that that finishing you know element with each of them rather than it just kind of being left hanging in the balance and they don't really know their dad or you know especially for Mia so William is probably my favorite right now yeah Dr. Winchester says random question do you guys still watch Black Lightning and just uh, not react to it, or have you stopped watching it altogether? Uh, I haven't caught up with it. I kind of plan on catching up with it. I just haven't had the time to do it. Um, it like we said, we've said it before, it was just one of those things where it's like our schedule got absolutely insane. We didn't love season two, and Aaron fought for trying to do it again. But I think ultimately it was just one of those things where it's like, was its enjoyment and viewership and time investment worth it and we were able to you know like our schedule hasn't been I think last year I felt like our schedule was worse mm-hmm. like man we can't catch up with this stuff you know but I feel like it's manageable now and Black Lightning was just one of those things um, but I you know like I'm not in super I'm not in that one but I still watch them you know and I'm gonna do the same thing with Black Lightning I just don't feel an urgency to do so yet you know I haven't watched any Black Lightning in case we react to it yeah so I haven't watched any of it Dobby says, Russia means Anatoly and may be human target. I would have preferred JJ or Joseph as the Deathstroke. Grant is the least intimidating of them. Yeah, I had to take a second to remember Grant, which I believe he was... I can't remember who one of the Deathstrokes were in that Legends episode. I can't keep up with the amount of sons. I know he does have two sons. The future one might have been Grant. Yeah, I think so. Um... And I don't know any of the Deathstroke stuff from comics stuff too, so I'm sure that's different because we've had we have a Deathstroke son over in uh, Titans as well. Um, anyway, uh, yeah, um, he's not. I kind of got really excited, like, oh my gosh, JJ and the Deathstrokes are here, you know? And we had to have like maybe. But see, that was the era. thing that I didn't understand. Is like, man, all the Deathstrokes are here yeah. from the future. That doesn't make that seems that seems like too much, you know? But I, like, I don't know. Maybe it's. Like, I was thinking like, well, maybe Monitor brought them here. To, to old team Eric and teach them how to deal with this kind of thing in a different way. I don't know. But it went different direction. Um, but Dobby says, do we get Manu Bennett later? And is future team Eric going to be here till the end of season eight? You, I, in my opinion, he is the one person, other than Felicity, of course. Uh, other than Felicity, he's the only other person I'm like, you have to have... He was such a huge part of the show and the development of Oliver Queen. Yeah, for the first two seasons. Like, you have to beginning. have him come back for one episode. Felicity, way more so, because she, she is 
part of Oliver Queen. Um, if you bring him back like villains and stuff, but yeah. I'd be fine if he didn't show up through the season. Yeah. And we had Manu Bennett in the crisis, yeah. helping Oliver fight against whatever the crisis is. You know, like that would be sweet. Like, I mean, if yeah, no, that would be great. Alternatively, if you had a thing where it's like, you know, Grant Wilson escaped and like me is like, I told you, it's always gonna happen, and then it's Slade Wilson comes out of nowhere and stops his kid. <laughs> Sorry, kid. <laughs> you know. And all of you just look at me and be like, I guess some things do change. Maybe. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. You might be like Slade showed up, like the actual Slade, yep. and then me and Connor are like, what? And they go to try to fight him and just... <laughs> I mean, this is going to be their last chance to have that big giant group shot of cri- you know, of the crossovers with Oliver Queen in there. Why not have Deathstroke beside him? That would be good. I mean, they could do like what they did in the one crossover and, and just... I think it was crossover, right? Yeah, it was the... Uh, uh, Dominator crossover mm-hmm. where they just had a guy in, in a suit but yeah. it wasn't Mario. Yeah. Uh, Tone says, Tone, do you think Monitor is manipulating people from all angles, good and bad? Or do you think, at least with regards to those on Arrow, he's preparing Oliver the way he knows will work though his uh, through his friends and through misdirection? I don't know. Because when it comes to the anti-Monitor stuff, that's kind of muddied by like people's expectations of like comic events they never said the words anti-monitor yeah i have no idea shows what that is i only know it because of q a's and eric and we do also know that he says another being far more powerful than i is coming yeah you, know, you must stop the coming crisis. what about the lie i don't know i, you feel, know like that's, I, mean? I feel like that setup who do you makes like there's no way it's not going to be an anti-monitor who do you trust least nash or monitor um i don't know i feel like nash i could trust him more so monitor well, like I like what the, like the question's saying. I, I don't think Monitor is... I don't think things are so black and white. You think you it's know? an Oracle thing or whatever that you, you mentioned yeah, the one time? exactly. I mean, mm. I think that this these are these are tests. Mm. These are tests slash... This is your life, Oliver Queen. You know? I think that's what it is. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know. I'm worried, you know, maybe he's lying or... I don't know. I just I, I hate like he shows up for the Lila thing and he shows up for the Laurel thing yeah. and he brings it back Malefic. I mean, I think I it's, don't know how Malefic helps with Crisis at all. You know what I mean? Like it prepares Supergirl and and Martian Manhunter for something. Does it? Mm. I'm just saying. Like, I'm just saying this guy. Nothing of that. This guy's playing you know? 4D chess. We can't see the strategy until it happens. You know? <sighs> Undoubtedly, he is lying about something. It's just that is it a good reason. All right. I don't know. I got nothing. AB, though, says, I never really bought into Renee as a politician until this episode. Mm. It just didn't seem like a realistic fit. However, this for the people and grassroots approach made a lot more sense for his character. What did you think of his performance? This episode. In this episode. Um, I agree. I mean, we were introduced to Renee the politician with that terrible wig. The, the old the wavy hair politician the, yeah, and the hair, and you're just like you're left caught up like, wait, what is going on? What? But I mean, it, it's natural that this is gonna feel more like a transition or different. Yeah, I mean, we never heard him say anything about him being a politician in the present mm. time, right? This is the first time. Uh, I mean, just that he was like the you know he's assistant to the police captain and yeah and stuff like that. I mean, he's gotten but not like there. as far as like trying to run yeah. for mayor or something. But like, like you know, lines. last season flash forwards were so jarring because we're like, wait, wait, the Glades did what? He's the what? You know? And here it's like, no. I mean, he cares about those people. That's where he's from. And I love the idea of like make the future now. What was it? Uh, the future is now. It's such a funny play in the meta of the story, and it makes sense. Yeah. So he's running for mayor of Star City, right? Is that what it is? Like, Star mm-hmm. City has a mayor. Yeah, the, the Glades is a part of Star part, City, right? Because yeah. I was just trying to think about But that. in the future, they're separate. Well, because in the future, Star City falls falls and goes yeah. terrible, and they build a wall and make the Glades, Glades. The, like, the new city. Yeah. So, yeah, I don't know. Things at the mayor for Star City don't always go too well, but yeah. we'll see what happens, I guess. Um, the last one we have is from Imperial Rebel, where uh, they say... Where are the intro head bops? This is the last season and no intro head bops so far. It is shameful. I, did, I think we did it this time. I think I did it last time, too. I don't know. You don't want to overplay a, a gag too much, but we did it this time, and they'll come back. We'll have to do something real special for, like, the last intro head bop. What, like our heads fall off? <laughs> what? I keep your head, and I bop it on the... or something. Kids bop. Bop it. Twist yeah. it. <laughs> <laughs> 
Um, Let's do it! That's it for Q&As, guys. Make sure you guys send in whatever you have for uh, next week's Arrow. Yep. Also, we have them for Supergirl, Batwoman, and Flash. So don't forget, if you guys have any thoughts, questions, concerns, send them in. We'll talk about those at the end of each episode. Yep. Poll! All right, guys. For the poll this week, we heard some... Uh, uh, maybe some concerning things from Laurel when she was talking to Mia about never trusting Oliver. We also had the monitor offering her Earth 2 back if she betrays Oliver. So with what we know of Laurel and what we've seen of monitor and whatnot, do you think that Laurel will or will not betray Oliver? I would say no. However, the promise of your entire universe back is not one to not consider. Yeah. So I... I'm doubting See, my Is the doubt. universe entirely gone, or is it like that planet? I mean, I don't know how to even look at it, because we've only ever seen the Earths, you know? Yeah. I just wonder, like, is that sun gone, or is like it just is, that planet? Yeah, I get you. Like, is, right. there, is there Mars still there? Yeah. Is uh, there I wonder. Andromeda Galaxy still there? Yeah, I don't know. Is Krypton still there? I'm assuming just What's it's it? Earth 2's universe, but I don't know. Well, Krypton wouldn't be there, right? I don't. Didn't they have, like, a Clark and a Dinah and all that stuff in, in like, a phone or something? Well, yeah, but there still wouldn't be a Krypton. It was destroyed, Aaron. Was it? Yeah. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> but no, so uh, let us know if you guys think it's going to be destroyed or not over patreon.com slash blindwave and leave comments for your reasoning as to why you thought what you thought. And we'll talk about that next episode. Right? That's it. Bop it! Bop. How are you bop something? What are you doing? Try to twist it. No, it's not a bop it. Pull it. No, it's not. Go to patreon.com slash blindwave. You guys can check out the poll and full length over there. Also, don't forget to subscribe and join us over at twitch.tv slash blindwave almost every day for different games, podcasts, and more. What'd you do? Did you destroy it?